The time has come for the annual ball. But first, an eve of merriment. Okay, I'll admit it. The Officer's Academy isn't as uptight as I thought. Ooh, I adore such things. Dancing is the only thing I'm really good at anyway. There's a feast tomorrow, isn't there? Isn't there? Oh, I can't wait a moment longer. Dancing? Singing? I'm not good at either of those things. So? Dancing is fun! Oh, and remember that you can't dance with the same partner multiple times. It's tradition! That means you have to dance with all of the gentlemen in all of the houses, swapping dance partners as you please. <laughs> How scandalous! I, for one, plan to simply behold the pure essence of dance. I'll, um, watch from a distance. You can't just watch, Marianne. If a boy asks you to dance, you simply must accept. It's only polite. You can ask anyone to dance? God, whatever should I do? <laughs> oh, lucky you, Ignatz. Tomorrow, if only for a day, you may live out your dearest dreams of an exalted existence. As for me, I am surely to be overwhelmed with the propositions of desperate ladies. I will doubtless have little time for partners of my own choosing. Which one of you is dreaming now, Lawrence? Everyone, listen up. To no one's surprise, I have a brilliant idea. Teach, you'll want in on this too. This may sound impetuous, perhaps irresponsible, almost certainly impossible but we're gonna do it anyway. In exactly five years' time, let's promise to meet again, right here at the monastery. A reunion? There's usually food at reunions. Count me in, Claude. Five years from now, will be the monastery's Millennium Festival, celebrating 1,000 years since the founding of Garrig Mach. I hear the Millennium Festival will be the largest celebration in the monastery's history. Oh, I get it. It'll be easier for us to all get back here with the Millennium Festival as an excuse. How true. As the new leader of the Alliance, I will certainly have occasion to attend and pay my respects to Lady Rhea. That almost certainly will not transpire. And you teach? I guess it's hard to imagine that you'll still be teaching here five years from now. But I'm sure no matter where you end up, you'll come running at the chance to see your adorable little golden deer again, right? <clears throat> that was your cue to promise everyone you'll return. Go on, set a good example, Teach. If you promise, everyone else will too. <laughs> I'm already excited. After five years, we'll all be whoever we're going to become. Oh, please, Professor, invite Captain Gerald, too. I want to show him how well his apprentice turns out. It's settled, then. What do you say, Claude? Is it official? The promise is sealed. That means we're all obligated to keep it. Five years from today, all of us will meet again at the monastery. Don't forget it, Teach. You and I will meet here again. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. 
<laughs> poor, poor professor. Was that a joke? I find it hard to tell with you. Just think of all the students begging you to dance. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The Goddess Tower waits for you. Waiting for anyone, right? Thought so. I bet you've never heard the legend about this tower then. Something special happens here during the ethereal moon on the night of the ball. First, an unmarried boy and girl need to meet at the goddess tower and make a vow. Then, the goddess will grant them divine protection and ensure that their vow comes true. Or so they say. It's a well-known story among the students. A couple guys invited me up here, but... Yes, I did. If I accepted their invitations, then our vow would come true. It's just a legend, sure, but... I prefer to be cautious about such things. One of the guys was pretty handsome, and he came from a good family. But that doesn't really tell you what a person's like on the inside. I want a life partner who's good-hearted and good-looking. Anyway, I went for a walk and happened upon you. And I thought, the professor's perfect. Why don't I just make a vow with him? Ha! <laughs> I'm just kidding, professor. To be honest, I wanted to spy on you. See if you had someone else up here. Although, if you did want to make a vow with me, I wouldn't object. Need some time to consider? Hang on! It won't mean anything tomorrow. Oh, I get it. Everyone's looking for you down there, girls included. You don't want to keep them waiting. You're pretty smooth, you know that? Well, I'm off then. I'll see you at the ball. <sighs> Did the goddess hear that conversation? It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. Hmm, I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on, hurry up! I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear... someone singing... from over there.
song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... Did I once sing that song to someone? No. There's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you.